Hey, it's Ted with Drama Mode. I haven't given you a tour of the mobile app in a couple months, so let me show you what's new in the LinkedIn mobile app. So as you see through here, the news feed is now that's getting a lot more relevant. And that was part of the updates they started last year. They want to get relevant content in front of you. And I've noticed my status updates and my articles are getting a lot more views than they used to. So they're doing a good job of getting my content in front of people that want to learn about LinkedIn or social selling or social media and how to market their business. So good job, LinkedIn, I have to say. It's, it's gotten a lot better because after they got rid of LinkedIn Pulse last year or incorporated into the news feed, it was a significant drop off in the number of views on everybody's content. So this is a good thing. And here's a LinkedIn a campaign monitor promoted post. This is, uh, this is one of the new ad things they came out with last year, one of the options. And these are working really well. It just blends in with the news feed. As you see, it kind of just looks like other posts. So maybe people don't see it as ads. If you put good content up there, you don't try to sell your products. They're giving away a guide here, the power of email personalization. So if you give, you know, give them good content in the news feed, They'll come to your website and then they'll get on your email list. So it's, you know, this is a really another good thing. LinkedIn ads were notoriously horrible and expensive in the past, but these promoted posts as they are, it's like a status update. Like in Facebook, you can boost your content posts. It's the same thing here. You post content on your LinkedIn company page or do a dark post and you can promote that post. So you just kind of scroll by. Look, okay, you know, it's not that many other ads, which is kind of interesting. But that's kind of a good thing. We don't want to be over. Okay, there's another ad. But see the news feed, they make it a lot easier to interact. So let me go up here and show you one of the big new features. When you're doing a post, you can add video now. So I can actually go up and do a post. And I can do basically like Facebook live video. So you can do it that way. Or, you know, if you're at an event, you can you know, film someone on stage, share your content. Ooh, kind of crazy there. But it's huge. Uh, Facebook live has really, really taken off. You see so many people broadcasting live. I haven't seen a whole lot of people doing it yet on LinkedIn. I haven't been notified. I'm not sure how they're actually notifying you or you just have to catch it as they scroll by. But I'll do some testing with that and you know, see how that's working. I know you can actually upload videos directly into your profile now and into a status update. So that's another new feature they've added. So let's go up here, click on your picture. This is your profile, how you edit it. And here does it gives you a little dashboard. 1,731 people viewed my profile. So when I click on that, I can actually see who viewed this profile. So this is good. It's telling me um, my whole goal is to get people to view my profile. Same thing as I try to get people to my website because the more people come to my website, the more business I generate. The more people I get to view my LinkedIn profile, the more appointments I get and the more clients I get. So there's a direct correlation there. So you can see these are all people that have viewed my profile in the last 90 days. So that's a good thing. A lot of people I've reached out to. So here's some second level connections. A lot of times what I'll do is if I see that, I'll reach out to them and invite them to connect if they haven't already reached out to me. So that's a good thing. And then we can also look at here's companies that have viewed my profile. So I'm not sure how accurate that is because I think these same three companies have been there for probably six months. So I don't think that's refreshing or these people are just stalking me from these couple of companies. <laughs> not positive there. But then it also gives you the job titles. And then here's how people found me through via LinkedIn, through their profile, through a search. So that's where you can go over here and see where people work that searched LinkedIn and found me over the last week. So it's a chiropractor, 
company called Force of Nature, a recruiting firm. So it tells you, you know, the top five companies that have been looking at you. And then here's their job titles. If I click on it, it doesn't show me exactly those salespeople that did look at it, but it tells me at least the titles. So if I'm targeting salespeople or founders or business owners, which I do a lot, then I'm getting the right people to view my profile. This is kind of interesting keywords that somebody searched LinkedIn for. They search for Twitter. And also I've seen my profile has ultimate guide to Twitter for business, my book in there. And I have you know a lot of Twitter references in my profile. Not sure what the capital C is, why that comes up. I'll do some searches later and see what comes up. Call me. I think I have that in my profile once. I'm not sure why I'd come up in a search for that. I'll have to see where that's placed. Google, I do Google AdWords and a lot of Google work for people. So, and Facebook and Google. I'm not sure if I actually have Facebook plus Google in my search. I know I have Facebook and I have Google separately, but I don't think I have it actually Facebook plus Google, but you know, and here they're saying improve for your profile to increase the number of search references. So they don't actually tell us how to improve do the SEO for our profile here, but it lets you update your profile. So what else do we got here? That's it for that. And then here's the article clicks, 30 article clicks in the last week. So here's 30 clicks just for that article. So it's just telling us 97 clicks on that post, that article, 19 clicks there, 49 there. And then when you do your posts, anytime you share content, I share a lot of information. That's giving you some, you know, I've seen an increase. So I just posted this one two hours ago, I got 29 views already. You know, it's not thousands of views, but it's trending. Because I see some, after a week or two, a lot of these will have 500 to 1,000 views. So it takes time for it to get through the whole system. That's good, good information there. And then here's basically who I can see, who, who I want to follow. So in Pulse, we used to be able to select what kind of content we want to see and what companies we want to follow. So this is where we can do that now. So those are the big things. Here's my network. It's a little slow when we do the screen sharing here. Okay, so here's a couple invitations. I noticed this thing, it says there's only one new invitation, but I've got nine there. And then here's some people we may know. So this is why I always say you're, it's really important to have a good picture and a good professional headline because this is where a lot of people see your profile. LinkedIn's placing your profile in front of thousands of people every day. So you want to grab their attention and you see it's just a few words of your professional headline that show up here then it gets cut off but this is where you make your first impression messaging messaging there see they got the little green dot now and that means they're online right now you can actually turn that off and say you're not available but this lets you know that you know people are open you can start reaching out to these people and have a conversation with them right now. Then here's all your notifications. Here's about how people, what you've been posting and who's liking and commenting on it. And then here is this jobs section. So if you want to subscribe and look for jobs, it's placing jobs in front of you based on your current jobs and past jobs, they'll recommend jobs. So been doing online marketing for 15 years so they're they put a lot of these jobs in front of me so that's it for now that's you know a quick overview of the mobile app here's other apps you can go to so that's it for now we'll see you on the next video go to youtube.com forward slash social selling tv for more videos like this For more free training, visit socialsellingminute.com.